Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Sophia and this is So Serene. Now today's style of video is going to be a little different. I have concocted some animations and artwork themed PowerPoint time slides to make making this a series and not necessarily limiting it to herbs and natural medicine, but this is a subject that has always interested me, so I wanted to make the first video about something that I was a little bit passionate about. So today we are going to be talking about ginger, but if you have any other subjects or herbs you'd like below that some you'd be interested in or if you liked it. But for now, I am going to get right into the video, so I hope you enjoy. Ginger. It has been used for over 4,400 years as both an ingredient and as a medicine. Although the origins are obscure, ginger seems to originate from Asia, India most likely. But it has spread from Southeast Asia all the way to tropical Australia. It grows best in tropical conditions, which means lots of sun, humidity, and warmth. The wide stretch of ginger growth means there is about a hundred different kinds of ginger. The most common species is Cingiber, which is also its genus name. This is derived from the Greek origin Cingiberis which came from Sanskrit Srinjabera, meaning horn-shaped. This is in reference to the rhizomes, or the knobs you might find on a ginger root. The root is actually the part of the plant that is used medicinally. The oldest use for ginger was as a digestive aid for upset stomach and nausea. Chinese medicine has used ginger since 4th century BC, and in India it was known as the universal medicine. The Greeks and Romans imported ginger and used it as a cure for intestinal parasites. The Middle Ages held ginger in such high esteem that some claimed it came from the Garden of Eden. Modern times has seen a decline in natural alternatives, but some still follow ancient tradition. Ginger is still used today for very similar purposes. Ginger is great for nausea from motion sickness and chemotherapy, as well as having antiseptic properties, which is great for treating infections of the digestive tract, as well as food poisoning. Ginger has also been known to reduce inflammation, which is great for arthritis and ulcerative colitis. Chewing on raw ginger can help alleviate sore throats, and having fresh ginger tea has also been known to help destroy viruses that cause the common cold through its compounds. Circulation is also improved by ginger, as it gently opens up your blood vessels in your extremities. Its flavor is slightly sweet, very clean, and a zingy light to eat. It goes great in curries alongside sushi, and it makes a wonderful chewy candy. Fun fact, a National Cancer Institute study found that if chemotherapy patients take half to one gram of ginger for three days before and after chemotherapy, alongside anti-nausea medication, their nausea was reduced by an additional 40%. The way ginger alleviates nausea is not completely understood, but current thinking is that compounds in ginger bind to receptors in the gastrointestinal tract that then act to turn down the sensation of nausea and to accelerate digestion, thus reducing the time food sits in the stomach. Another fun fact, 
Ginger is being studied for its effects in reducing arthritic inflammation. The results show more help than placebo, but not as much as an anti-inflammatory medication. Ginger may cause heartburn in some people, and pregnant women should not take more than one gram of dried extract per day. It is also not advised to mix ginger with blood thinning medication, so please consult your doctor if you think you might have any concerns. Generally speaking, though, ginger is safe to add to anyone's diet. Now we will be making some ginger tea. You will need a knob of ginger about two inches long, two cups of water, and a pot to boil it all in. To start, peel your ginger and then dice it up into small little cubes. Then you will bring two cups of water to a boil and add those cubes of ginger into the boiling water. Simmer for about 15 minutes, stirring occasionally, about 20 minutes if you like it strong. Then, we're going to strain it into a bowl. Now, you just have to serve and enjoy. It goes great with some honey and lime, or agave and monk fruit sugar, if you don't like honey. Hello everyone, hello, 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 hello. I just wanted to do a quick check-in, and thank you for watching this video. I know it was a little different than my other videos have been, but I hope you enjoyed it. I did use Procreate for the uh, speed paint PowerPoint slide and the little tea making animation. I hope you enjoyed that. Let me know down in the comments if you did enjoy it. If you'd want to see any more medicinal herbs in this Relax and Learn series or any other subjects you'd like to learn about in a similar format, I'd be more than happy to check out some of those recommendations. Make sure to follow me on Facebook and Instagram. I'm going to be making some short real videos here soon of some fast and aggressive triggers, 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 along with some paper ripping, paper shuffling triggers. Those have been requested quite a bit, so I'm going to be posting those on Instagram and eventually I'm making a compilation for here, but my social medias are a great way to get a little extra content and um, have a little more input as well, so make sure to get me on there. I'm trying to be a little more active, so we will see about that, but for now, I would like to thank you, thank you, thank you so much for watching. Make sure to go make yourself a cup of some ginger tea and relax and read a book. Do something that makes you feel nice. Again, I appreciate you being here. I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. And I will see